Hello, everybody, I'm here for the Hammer Game Channel. Welcome back to my Kaiser Redux playthrough as the French Social Republic with Maurice Gamlin or Gamelin. I've probably been pronouncing his name wrong the entire time so far. Um, but we're going to kick things off by just chilling out here in um, Indochina. We're going to try and help them defeat the Germans. Oh, there goes, there goes Poland. Polish Socialist Republic is uh, is gone already. That that's 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 a sad day for us. And oh my days, Frederick Christian is um he's looking interesting. We'll see what he gets up to, but he is the Saxon king, so obviously we'll be doing the Germany stuff. Well he's a German puppet now anyways. Um right. Indochina, where are we at? Ah, we are we are currently engaging, which we're not going to do that there. By the looks of things, there is a gap. I think this side's maybe easier to get through for the time being. Don't know why you're trying to, to push through there. Can we let me drive into there? Thank you. Drive in here and then I can maybe encircle some divisions. Ah, I see a division's already met me there. Belgium, Congress Arel. With the recent independence of Belgium from their former German masters, the inevitable question that arose for was simple. What next? Two nations sent representatives to the tiny Ardennes city of Arel in German Luxembourg near the border with southern Wallonia and their future path of Belgium Europe was decided. Uh, recognizing the formal independence of Brussels, Belgium would join the Reichs back along with Germans to protect them against the aggression of the Communist France. Here's the Belgian will the compromise, they're really one of the pens and offered to safeguard their future. So really nothing out of the ordinary has happened. Well, we'll see who gets elected with them. Anyways, let's do concentrate the industry too and head on back over to Indochina. Where hopefully we can we can maybe do something. If they were to help me push. We might be able to... Oh, I was saying that. I might actually be able to do... Oh, no. No, they're helping. They're helping now. Don't, that division's still trying to go through that impassable terrain. Let's go ahead and get the anti-tank research. We're going to need that against the Germans. Uh, we are currently restoring um, order. Going to try and finish off, I think, this part of the tree today. And then we can focus on everything else. Um... Also, that was Austria just finishing the war. I'm hoping he's not going to be stupid enough to declare war on Germany so early. But as soon as he goes to the war with Germany, we're going into... There's a lot of tension going to be along that front. Like, that is a pretty hefty front that the Germans have to cover there, plus us. Um, although the military has, are currently doing their best to restore order, there simply is not enough soldiers uh, to patrol the entire nation. Therefore, Gamelin... Or, I'm going to have to... Figure out how you actually say his name properly. As I say, to establish a volunteer militia. The Milice Francaise, or just simply Milice, are to be a parliamentary, ta uh, paramilitary task with co combating any remaining Jacobin resistance, as well as any potential opposition from other problematic groups. Dressed in bl blue paramilitary uniforms with a uh, recognisable beret, they are to be armed and trained directly by the armed forces in order to act as a disciplined force. The Greek letter, question mark, has been chosen for its symbol, representing rejuvenation and energy, a fitting logo for a force that will add Gamelin in re-energizing the commune. Okay, a very nice. I don't know why I didn't have any writing or anything on it there, but let's go ahead and do the Front Popular. Ah, they have stopped helping us push over here. That is fine. Can I send you any more divisions? No, I can literally only send you... I could send you air volunteers, because surely you're getting better in air. Uh, let's send them air volunteers. Do, do, do. How many can we send? We can send... How many planes can we send over? Can we, can we actually send any? Oh, we don't actually have control of an airfield. Because they've invaded Saigon. Oh, there we go. Go, 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 go. Because if I can encircle these two divisions, help me. Or I'll do it myself. Wow, it's... <laughs> whoever ran out of the organization first was who lost there. Right, retreat down here. Ah, oh, he's retreat the opposite direction. That's fine. Hopefully they'll be quite aggressive towards these troops in here in a second. No, right. No, what are you doing? 
this is not what I wanted you to do. Oh, Huey Long elected as president of the United States. Well, we all know what's going to happen now. No, guys, push in here. Oh, thank you. I was going to say. Right, they, they've got that covered. I'm going to go ahead and circle this guy now. Actually, we only really need to go in there and in there. Oh, he's actually moving forward. Oh, a and I wins Italian elections. Nice, we're going to have Italian... Um, he's going to be having to fight good old Venice. Uh, prior to the Jacobin reign of terror, Leon Bloom was not perceived by many as a future leader of the Travelers. As Fro Foyer's health declined, a battle arose between Leon Johox and Benoit Franson. Uh, I'm guessing here. Uh, Bloom, on the other hand, was a minor figure in this clash for leadership. However, the Jacobins attempt to purge the CGT politicians left many chevaliers, I'm probably saying that different every time as well, go into hiding in a prison cell or dead. It was during this time of turmoil that Bloom em uh, emerged. United and his comrades were the anarchists, uh, social democrats and Gamelin's syndicalist aligned military who formed a united front to oppose Thores. Now as head of government serving as leader of the commune under the protection of Marshal Gamelin, he is tasked with forming a government to maintain a unity of the Front Popular. Bloom has already proven himself a successful man of action and capable of forming relations with political opponents. However, without the threat of the Jacobins, it will be difficult to ta uh, difficult task to keep the Front whole. Comrade Bloom will heal the wounds of the nation. Good for him. And that, that didn't really do anything else for us. We just got that little read there. Anyways, let's go ahead and deal with the uh, end of Jacobin's menace. Let's go ahead and do that. And let's focus back on driving this tank forward to encircle him. Um, oh, they've got the little... Um, I don't know if it was, it was the Kaidrai devs themselves or this... So I'm going to presume it was the Kaidrai devs, devs themselves. Um, but um, there was one tile you could cut through on this impassable terrain here, and it is now gone. I don't know if that's a recent thing or it happened ages ago, but that's the first time I've seen that. Ah, yes. Push. Push. Attack me, you fools. Can you guys hurry up and finish them off, please? That would be much appreciated. Democratic left victorious in Brazil. The Democratic left. Um, who are the Democratic left again? Ah, Social Democrats. Would you like to join the Third International? We are the same. Good old Social Democrats. Wow. Their divisions are absolutely guff against tanks. Which, to be honest, we shouldn't really be shot by. Oh, yes! I was waiting for this. It's been decades since we forced the capital assault, yet we can't rest. Not until they are all defeated will we be safe. But to defeat them, the worker's spirit will not be enough. There are no two ways about it. Without oil, our planes, tanks, and ships are nothing but scrap, no matter the skill of their crew. Since we first realized the issue, moment monumental effort has been spent attempting to cultivate domestic sources of oil. Some, like the shale oils in Scotland, have seen mild success. Others, like the French oil fields, have been near total failures. Fortunately, many saw this coming, and so resource aid had already been put towards research in synthetic sources of oil. If we divert enough resources in this direction, it may just be possible. Boom. Nice. I was waiting for the revolutionary synthetic oil. Oh, they reinforced now, did they? Well, let me just do a big pro-gamer move and just drive on past you. Ah. Crack down on the Jacobins. Oh, we get a choice here. After the traitorous PCF regime and its leader, Maurice Thorez, were ousted by General Gamelin and Comrade Bloom, there are still many enemies within our country who support the disgusting ideas of the totalitarian Leninist system. We must show them that we don't tolerate such dangerous ideas. But how should we do it? Should we take a harsh approach on the remaining Jacobins held in custody? Have them prosecuted by the police and punished with brute force? Or should we show mercy and sentence them to serve their time? attempt to reintegrate them into society. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead, roll them up and send them to serve time in our prisons. And Austria has declared war on Serbia. Uh, strengthen the common art military. So military rule is going to get these both. Oh my Jesus. Right, so we've already got five from the Marshal, Maurice Gamelin. We've got 2% from Di uh, Desire for Revenge. So that's seven. Then there are two there, nine. And then we're gonna get another we're gonna get another six here. So we're gonna be up to fifteen. 
Holy moly. All right, anyways, let's do that. And we're about to push through here, which is grand. Yes, progress is being made. And just with one tank as well. Can we um, can we send any more divisions? No, no we're not going to be able to, are we? Yeah, let's crush them now, boys. They've not really all got that much going for them. Uh, preparation for the Jackman Trials. Uh, now that the new government is taking the first steps towards stabilization, it's time to call the Jacobin leadership to account for the betrayal of the Commune. Front Popular, in consultation with the Supreme Court, has issued summons for all prominent Jacobin politicians to attend a large-scale trial that seeks to determine the punishment for the betrayal. It has already been decided in advance that the leader of the Jacobins, Maurice Storius, should be given a separate trial to personally decide his fate. It was also decided that the process for the other leaders should start as soon as possible. Nobody is above the law. Hell yeah, not when the marshal's about. No, don't you dare lose in there, because that will cause us some, uh, just, just, a, just a tiny little bit of an issue. Military budget cut, oof. Ah, the trials. After a short preparation time, the day of the trial has arrived. There were over a dozen other defendants in the dock, along with the well-known politicians and officers such as Jax uh, Duclos and Marcel Chachin, who were waiting for, waiting for awaiting their verdict. The process spanned several days, filled with dra uh, dramatic speeches by the defence and courageous lectures by the prosecutors. After all, the defendants had finally been heard. The court withdrew for consultation for a further day after com uh, completion of the taking of evidence. Tension was virtually unbearable as the hour came for the verdict. The Supreme Judge began his speech to announce the verdict and it read, Hang those found most responsible, the rest shall be sentenced to life imprisonment. Uh, the rest shall face justice. Um, yes, yeah, so let's keep these traitors in chains forever. We're not as bad as them. We're not just going to kill everyone off. And then we've got... Oh, another encirclement. Well done. And the San Dong clique has died. So Nanjing. Nanjing's actually surviving right now. Now, the question is, did... Um, did Ching... What did Ching do? I don't... Did they placate the assembly? Ah, the trial of Maurice. A week ago, the other Jacobin leadership were sentenced by, uh, sentenced by the court for their actions, and now... The head of the corrupt ty uh, tyrannical clique will face an even worse fate. Maurice Thores, chairman of the PCF and a traitor to the commune, has now been brought to trial. The reading of all the charges took more than two hours, and the subsequent trial took more than three days until the court closed the case and withdrew for the verdict. On the following day, the verdict was finally announced. The court dismissed the life sentence because of the gravity of offences instead imposed the death sentence by firing squad. Uh, throughout the trial, Thores sat calmly without any emotion and did not say a word. When he was given the final word after the sentence was pronounced, he said nothing and stared straight ahead. After that, the audience in the hall and the people in front of the courthouse broke out into a thunderous jubil um, jubilation. Throughout France, citizens celebrated the end of the treacherous dictator. The following day, at exactly 6 o'clock in the morning, the death sentence was carried out in the public. The authorities blindfolded and tied to a post. Whereupon cheers and applause broke out as the bullets left uh, the barrels of the firing squad and so ended the failed Jacobin reign of terror in our nation. Motto traitor. Something to do with traitor. Viva la France. Right, let's go ahead and get the FCM 36. Right, well, we've kind of dealt with all the Jacobins now, really. Uh, you surely don't have that many divisions of six. Oh, well, I was wondering what you were doing. It's Malayan pacification. Uh, right, back over here. So we've strengthened the military, which gives us 15,000 guns. Of th oh, 15,000 and 3,000. Oh, that's bloody glorious, isn't it? Anyways, um, he's going to address the nation now. We get stability and political power. Grand. Look at that. That. Oh. Oh, it's so good. That's so good. No, we're we're. we're st oh, this is great. The fifth year anniversary of the nineteen thirty two Geneva strike. Yeah, we've seen this before. We know what's going to be happening. It's basically the start of the unrest in um, Switzerland. So we'll be able to shortly go ahead and grab. Do, 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 demand horse Savoy. Which may or may not end badly for us. Now, how is the Serbians doing? Um, I love how Slovenia is just here. Slovenia is just, just there. 
jump start the military economy. Um, you should really, you should really get your boys in play. What? Why are you not wanting to join in? Stand off in America. Oh, it's time. It's civil war time. Oh, and and these guys down here have now just been completely cut off. The only reason they haven't lost is probably due to this little stance down here. But I'll come and try and mop this up. Can we set? I'm just I keep checking to see if there's we can send more volunteers just because it would help. But we're not going to be able to. What, Seventy-five. Ah, approves the government similar ideology, volunteers and trade partners. Don't worry, the Chinese Union, I've got ya. Ah, right. Regenter King, what's the difference? My comrades, my friends, today, is, today marks the day every Frenchman breaks the chains that have held him captive to this day. Traitorous uh, machinations of the Jacobins were stopped and the syndicalist democratic process in our country was restored. The heroes who willingly gave their lives for our freedom will never be forgotten and go down in history as heroes of the syndicalist revolution. But the smashing of the PCF alone is not enough to secure our country in the revolution. There is still much work to do. The reform plan that I and my government have prepared contains three core projects that we will implement in the coming years. One, strengthening the democratic process in the commune through far-reaching reform of electoral law, the education system and the implementation of large-scale anti-corruption campaigns. Wow. Uh, the consolidation of the common art spirit, uh, spirit which forms the basis of, of our country, as well as the strengthening of the syndicalist way of life. And finally, three, the reform of the military and police forces to be able to better defend ourselves against the internal dangers such as the PCF in the future, as well as against external threats such as our arch enemy, the German Empire. Once this plan has been put in action, the commune will rise and shine in new splendor. Viva la revolution, viva la federation des communes de France. Onto a brighter future. Viva la France. And finally, the last little focus we have down here. Without the Marshal, there is no new France. Which gives us Defender of France. Daily Black up Power Gain. Monthly Population. Consumer Goods goes up and 5 stability. We are going to be at 100 stability, folks. What a grande. And Saigon has fallen. Okay. Um, That's fine. It's not disastrous. But at the same time, it's not exactly great. Um can't jump that up. I don't really need to increase conscription right now. We've almost got two mil right now. And um, we do have plenty of guns. Uh, so I think it's probably... We do have some experience as well. So we can go ahead and start kind of upgrading. Uh, we're going to be 935 of them short, but that is fine. Uh, we are going to spend a decent bit of time on military industry. We're going to sprinkle some, you know, civvies in there every now and then as well. Oh yeah, so I was actually looking at the tree earlier before recording this, and um, do, 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 the only crap thing is communal industrialization isn't the best one to get. Um, I think war economy and agriculture is, just because that gives us six civvies, four military factories, and the recruitment population is quite nice. But I guess we don't really need it. That gives us three, one, and three. Yeah, it's not great, but it'll do. We get to do this route regardless because I, I I don't know why but we do, um. So yeah, that's that's the direction of our economy. At least we get three civvies from doing that. So we'll build a couple more after them. It's time to expand and grow. Get that strength up. Oh, Julius Evola has joined us. Fantastic. A uh, violence in occupied Hosovoi. Reports are coming to Paris bearing news of violent pressure of syndicalist freedom fighters in Hosovoi. We're attempting to organize a referendum on the region's return to French governance. The, Swift go the Swiss government in Bern has sent a military force to suppress the vote. Violence has broken out over the uh, legality of the refer referendum. We can't organize violence against our people. Frenchmen bleed on French soil. Well, once we've done this, we can. We cannot do that just yet. But there's the civil war. Oh, QE's decided to choose this flag. Okay. Good, good for him. Right. Um, what's Austria up to? They're still... Is it... Why? Why are you guys not in the war? You know, Chinese revolt succeeds. Yes, pro-syndicalist victory in Romandy. Thanks to the ill-advised measures taken by the Swiss authorities, put an end to their union's demands for better wages and legal protection of labour rights, and the public display of violence against our people in Hoche Savoy, we 
have enough political capital to begin efforts to support syndicalist movements in the nation and attempt to retake it. This is a great opportunity for the commune to forge stronger ties with syndicalist agitators and pro-French syndicalists could assist us in our goal of recovering Kosovoi. However, the pro-German and pro-Austrian conservatives will probably try to topple these workers elected representatives by all means available, including with force. Try to gain influence with the newly elected socialists. Yes, I think we shall indeed do this. The best case scenario here is that they bend to us. Or they do peace and reconciliation, because, or enemy on all sides. As long as they do not do, you know, get an alliance with Germany or Austria, it's good days. Puerto Rico has peaced out. They want in none of that. They are wanting to just chill by themselves. Uh, economic recession, anti-American sentiment. And they actually have a QE flag. Bank of the Union, no. Declare full independence. Democracy has prevailed in the Philippines as well. Eh, what do we want to do now? I think we may go ahead and actually start working on some infantry stuff. Oh, we need to get cast in production. Researched and produced. Um, yeah, we'll bin you for the time being because I need this cast. And we need to upgrade our fighters, damn. We need to work on that. I don't want the German Air Force absolutely destroyed us. Ah, there we go. So that is that part of the tree finished. So let's go ahead and get to work. Oh, and uh, do I want to do military build up first or do I want to do direction of the economy? Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to go for that research slot. Just because then that brings us up to five. Five in what will probably be the later half of 1938, uh, not 1930, 1937. Not too shabby. Could have got it earlier, mind you. Um, I thought this was a success. Yeah, they should have that covered because they're they're cut off. We'll just go ahead and try and take Hanoi back. Uh, we could oh we could support the CSA. We we could do it. We could help Haywood out. Yeah, do you know what? We have guns available. You can you can have some and we'll recruit a head of intelligence as well. Costa Rica's joined the Entente. Yeah, uh, fire bombings. Oh, the 937 Spartacate. Here we go. What a glorious day for the working man. Are we going to win any medals? Are we going to lose? Are we going to win? Who bloody knows? And we should have the uh, this war popping up soon. Ah, well, they can start the process after uh, the 1st of May. Japan has announced her ambitions. And they are democratic ambitions. No, they're not. <laughs> no, they're not. They're, it's the longest day. Yep, good, good for them, I guess. You do you, Japan. You do you. Now, to be fair, I don't really know what... I will say that producing naval bombers isn't actually a bad shot. The German fleet is currently sitting at between 206 and 503. We only have, what, 100 ships. So we could get naval bombers out and naval invade them, possibly. Uh, kind of Finland's joined the Reichspact. Of course they have. So, um, kind of technically speaking, we could have... As long as they don't do it beforehand, then again, they have volunteers. Right. Um, Austria goes to war with Germany. Um, oh, do they have a outcome of the... Oh, we got a few medals. Oh, boo. Um, oh, Wrangles here. So, we have the Austro-Hungarian Empire. And, you know, Slovenia. Um, they go to war with the Reich's Pact. The Russians go to war with the Reich's Pact. And we go to war with the Reich's Pact. Of course, we will have to defend against the, um, the Entente. But hopefully, um, all things go well for Haywood, who I may send over some volunteers. We can send two may help them out and um, the end ah right these guys need our help first so did this war just begin i don't know i can send them one division well i guess i'll send you a tank i think that's probably the best idea send a tank division over Um, i don't know how well you're gonna do 7 to 35. Yeah, not exactly great. Paraguay is going to lose just as always. Um, are they really not? I thought this came out saying they had won. Annexation of Romandi. Haha, <laughs> the brave workers and peasants of the French speaking Swiss cantons have won their fight against the reactionary force. Oh my gosh, we actually got Romandi as well. Um, 
the Committee des Salut Public has proclaimed their union with the Commune of France, where the local militias are being integrated in the Communal Army. French mobilised units, supported by air forces, are heading towards the new border to prevent any re retaliation offensive from a revanche of Swiss government. Two voluntary divisions will form a Romandie. Fantastic, and they will instantly get changed over to um, some infantry, because why would I not want to do that? There we go. So, did you just get betrayed by everybody? Oh. Syndicalist revolutionaries. Ha 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 ha. This could be good. Will they bend? Because they haven't allied anyone. I think we just got the best outcome we could have possibly asked for there. Very James Bond esque looking. Dual French nationality from the boys. Interesting. Anyways, um, let's head out to Germany. And I, I do want to spend a little bit more time actually doing you up. Ah, that's not over yet. Surely, they don't, they mustn't have many divisions left. Um, one to nine. Oh, boy. I, I kind of want to look at the, uh, the casualties now. There's a lot of wars on the way. Um, 239k. That is tragic. That is absolutely tragic. Oh, right, there we go. Um, that. The Baltic War now. Oh, do we? Can we? Can we assist you? Oh, we bloody well can. And can I say, what a glorious moustache that is. Oh, a little squeak in the middle. Um, yeah, tanks. Let's, let's send them tanks. Well, I can only send one tank unless I change another division over to tanks. I, I, oh, we, we can. Send volunteers. Oh, wait, no. One, no. One, two. Oh, my day's done. 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 What are you doing, mate? There we go. Latvia. And Estonia. You're very welcome, guys. Hopefully you will win and you will not join the Germans. Because if you join the Germans, then this is a complete waste of my time. Ah, the Union of Burma. Grant, the party of communist. Gandhi! Oh my gosh, the whole g squad's getting back together. We got Mussolini, we got Gandhi. Hiro he is still kicking around. It's just a shame that, you know, thingy-majiggy can't he just pop up out of nowhere. Ah, there we go, the Eastern Syndicalist Union. Glorious. Good luck in your endeavours. 1937 Dutch elections, hopefully, they'll go in our favour. And they will turn to syndicalist. And again, the Germans may destroy them. Um, what? Oh, we need world tension. Social democracy sucks. Just a tiny little bit. Our Baltic brothers. Um, wait, vital imperialists from Germany have dastardly side erased all the presence of Baltic nations. More and more Germans settlers arrive in the Baltic duchy every day, forcing locals to leave their home. This policy was met with major discontent between pro-German Dussel government and native Balts. Resistance movements have established and their brothers have launched an open rebellion against German imperialism. Yes, we shall send you equipment. We have already sent you volunteers. Ah, our Patagonian volunteers. Okay, there we have volunteers all over the globe now. Yeah, I feel like you may be losing. Sweden has now joined the Reichspact, which possibly could mean that Norway is going to join us. Or the Entente. Yeah, that side's done. Why did it even go that way? Um, anyways, research. And Grant, we don't actually have to do that now. Uh, revenge is propaganda. What a random focus for just 50 political power. Alright, well, I'll actually drop down the speed 4, which I actually do not stuff it. We, we can manage. How are you doing? You're still on your way down. That, that's fine. That's fine. Anyways. What we got here? To be honest, if I can just... Oh, I can't even select them both. They may be here together, but they, they are not together together. CNT's now here. Oh my days, I'm just going to be supporting every bloody conflict. Hey, oh. Right, come 
bit safer. Do, 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 do. Let's go ahead and do that again. How are we doing our factories? Not bad. Um, that's looking okay. It's looking okay for me. Yes, yes. Push them back. Push them back. And then we'll try and get in here. Ah, there we go. It's, it's all kicking off now. Let's see if we can just surround Riga. The capital of the Duce. Yeah, uh, yeah, and I'm kind of concerned a little bit about Estonia because they don't even have enough divisions to cover the front. Yet again, they're just standing there. Oh no, they're pushing forward. We have to, we have to divert our attention to. So then again, they've only got one division in there. Hey, hey, hey! We might actually be able to do some damage here. Might might be able to take them out. Come on, Latvia, help us out. Help, help us out. We're helping you after all. This is... Really, this is a bit of a random war for us to even be involved in. But I guess anything to pee off the Germans. Um, Just let's ruin their influence. Look at that. 2.4 sex unlimited conscription. How bloody fantastic is that? Right, anyway, back to Patagonia. Let's see if we can get to Buenos Aires. And Indochina. Indochina, I, I don't know why you haven't peaced out. You, you've won. They, they've won. I swear I've seen the thing come up. I maybe shouldn't have intervened. We have broken the game. Anyways, guys, we are well over time, actually. I've got two carried away. Um, so thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I shall be back very soon for some more. Until then, take care. Sure, bye. Then now.